Undone to the law, Promike lawmakers declare creation of investment agency by Fubara illegal. The Martin Amarili left faction of the River House of Assembly has faulted the creation of River State Investment Promotion Agency RSIPA by Simnalahi Fubara, the governor of the state. In May, Fubara approved the establishment of RSIPA to provide one-stop shop investment services and the facilitation to investors in the state. In August, the reverse governor signed an executive order to establish RSIPA and inaugurated a six-member meeting governing board of the agency on Monday. At the plenary held at the assembly quarters on Thursday, the House said there is no law backing the creation of the agency, adding that the governor did not consult the lawmakers before establishing RSIPA. Gerald Oforji, the chairman of the House Committee on Commerce and Industry, has presented a report on the purported inauguration of the RSIPA board by Fubara. However, in a statement by Martin Sumachiko, media aide to Amebuli, the House hosted that the report of the committee said that if the agency is properly established, it will create a conducive climate to attract and grow businesses in River State. The media aid to the, spoke, the speaker added that the committee said the creation of the agency is unknown by any law created by Rivers House of Assembly. The statement quoted Amebule, speaker of the faction, and saying that the individuals appointed as RSIPA board members should have been screened by the assembly if there is a law establishing the agency. Honorable Amebule, Honorable Amerili also recalled a similar action taken by Governor Fubara when he professed to have appointed some persons into the board of Bureau for public procurement and other appointments without regard to the provisions of excellent laws guiding such appointments, the statement reads. When the Speaker put the question, the House voted in affirmative and condemned in strict terms the action of the Governor, which it declared illegal and un unquestionable. The reverse assembly had been polarized following the rifts between Nyesum and Wike. Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, and Abuja. Both politicians have been at larger heads over control of the political structure of the state. The 27 lawmakers leader to Wike, who are in the army with the led faction, have been holding legislative within the legislative quarters, while the Okujumbu Factions holds plenary at the government house. All right, the 27 lawmakers to Miki, who are in the army with the led faction, have been holding legislative within the legislative quarters, while the Finoko Jumbo faction hold plenary at the government house. Did any of you notice that it is after the protest? Eh? It is after the protest that the attacks on Fubara intensified. Did any of you notice? Because, like, the way Mike is coming against Fubara now, every two market days, like, ah, ah, what is going on? Oga lawmaker, Oga lawmaker, lawbreaker, how many of the so called laws have the backing of you and your so called assembly members? It is useful. Okay, you're called assembly members. Is useful to the common man on the street? Exactly. None of their laws are useful to us. Fubara did that every day. He's allowed the matter to concentrate on his job. He meant well for Rivers. Now, they are the pity. Just like Edo people now, now they must see the pity inside everything where they happen because obviously, you know, you don't care. He meant well, but he betrayed his master, a city minister. Go on and study the well, the 48, uh, 48 laws of power. Then you understand protocols your governor have broken. Ah. What are the pro VK people even doing there? I don't know. They are themselves and they are unknown to the law. That is the truth. Take it or leave it. Fubara is a boy, he's a baby politician and a one time governor. Well now so people you start. The people who they started off as somebody will be say baby politician and today we are there today. All right. That is the truth. Take it or leave it. Fubara is okay. I think I've said it before. He's a baby politician and a one time governor. Not true. Now you be two time governor. 
I beg, make I hear what. Go and sit down. You don't even know about politics. Me, I don't talk my own, and I go talk my own again and again. All right. So maybe they watch now. Like I said, everything intensified after the protest. Just be like, see, they carry fuel like this. Add to the fire with the bomb for River State. In no grease stop. They're going to add forever. Hmm. Sincerely. In all of this, I keep saying I blame PDP. I blame, I blame PDP for being complacent, for being a spectator in their own story. I blame PDP for not standing up. Sincerely, I blame PDP because what's in the main of all this thing? It's like the more these past few days, everything just blessed and had no fault to fire. Make it this, make it that, make it this one here, make it that. What exactly is going on? On top of say they won't do a what are they call election. And this whole issue is spreading to what are they talking? It's already spread towards the you cannot there's no way you can do it. There is no way you can talk about this thing now. They're not, they're not going to talk about the upcoming elections in those states. Eh? There is absolutely no way. You know, this man, Fubara said, go, if not me, I don't talk him. I said, go, you just carry the matter, just give them. Because you don't, you don't be. You don't be over this issue. All right. Rather than PDP go come today, you go hear say oh, then say they go support this one tomorrow. You go hear say they don't support this one next tomorrow. You understand? Then even they allow uh, people they call people they call what's it? What's in the name? People they call um, themselves say they be PDP members. Then they then they then they romance with APC openly. Just few days to election. For where they happen? Eh? For where it happens, we say this kind of thing they continue. So PDP, if they want, if they really want some things, <laughs> how go you put them? PDP, if they really want to make this fire stop, they need to do it and stand up right. Do something. Take the bull by the horn. Stop playing to the gallery. Make them stand one place. Make them stop to the play to the gallery today, like this one, next tomorrow. Another story, next, next tomorrow, another story. Eh? Until PDP stands up and, you know, do the need for PDP not will get themselves. In fact, make it is going to be the end of PDP. All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen until I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.